Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Buffalo Wild Wings for the Coach Al Holland Show, and I'm here with Coach uh, Al Holland. Al, another big win Saturday. It was a big one for us, uh, an, an exciting weekend, a lot of things going on with homecoming, uh, Hall of Fame, uh, and then we had our football game. You had a volleyball game that day as well going on on campus, so uh, an exciting day and a great night nightcap there to, to top it off with a big win at home. Well, I thought you came out and you played well, able to move the ball up and down the field. and. Yeah. And your defense, I thought, played maybe better than they played in the last few weeks. They have, and uh, they continue to improve, and that's big uh, for all of us, and that's big for our football team. I, we see that improvement week in and week out, and that's what we keep uh, continuing to harp on is we need to see improvement. And uh, with the young football team and creating competition and practice every week uh, uh, at each position, that, that's helping us, and it's paying off for us on Saturdays. I thought that you had, you had both running backs back, healthy and everything. They oh. were able, that one-two punch was big. Oh, yeah, it was huge for us. And, you know, we, we sort of wore them down. And we had some big plays that got called back. Had 300, over 300 yards rushing and really could have been close to 400 if, you know, a player two here wasn't called back. And because there's some big runs. X had about a 50 or 60-yard run that was called back. Right. You know, you take some of those plays back, and, and now it's even a different ball game because we don't end up scoring on those drives. But, uh, you know, we got to get some things cleaned up too. Uh, special teams got to get cleaned up a little bit. And uh, those guys are working on it and we're working on it every single day in practice but it, it's a process not an event it don't happen overnight but uh, we continue to stay the course and uh, and to get better every single day that's what it's all about and uh, we've got some highlights i think from saturday if they're ready to go with them we're ready to talk about them. So, week eight hard to y believe it yes i know it seems like it's flying by and uh here was early in the game Chris Dublin getting the interception for us and a uh, heck of a play there by him just being in the right spot and, and trusting the process. And and then uh, Bowen going over top to Artis Clark here. Uh, found a little matchup here and got the one-on-one. -on -one and the uh, guy just flying to the football here and, and being in the right spot and, uh, you know, creating another turnover. Turnover's been big for us here lately. Uh, just guys being in, in, in spots to, to put ourselves to be uh, have a chance to be successful. We're just getting better and better defensively, and, and a lot of, you know, Coach Anderson's doing a heck of a job uh, coaching these guys up and, uh, you know, getting them to fly around. Uh, Bowen ended up being the Mid-South Conference uh, Player of the Week, and uh, here was Big D Les on a, on a jet sweep here. Uh, him and, he was a, a little mad at the official, I think, on a call, and <laughs> I said uh, it started to the next quarter. I said, well, right now is the best time in the world to hand him the football. He can take a little anger out on That's somebody right. else. So, And then we, we punch one in right here, and... You know, the offensive line continues to improve and to get better, and I've been proud of them. And the defensive line, hey, uh, Cornelius Jackson, uh, you got to call his name a few times this past week with a, uh, with a couple sacks there. Uh, Sean Cook getting in on it, a senior uh, defensive back here, uh, getting an interception. I uh, thought we might have had about one second left on the clock, and I was hoping we was going to get that to, to get a long field goal right before the half, but we didn't get it. Didn't get the uh, time on that one. And Willie gets a score here in the third quarter. And just being in the right spot, and uh, guys getting hands up, and uh, Seth Johnson, the freshman uh, linebacker from Virginia, uh, heck of a job there. He keeps getting better week in and week out. The corn we was talking about right there, and um, you know, been proud of this bunch. It's been a fun bunch to coach, and uh, continue to push week in and week out, and. Uh, just striving to get better every week and uh, paying attention to the small details. Dylan Wheatley, a uh, uh, freshman uh, running back, plays our fullback as well. Um, you know, from uh, Lexington Christian, having a heck of a week, had two touchdowns this past week. So I you'll hear his name a bunch in the future as well. I saw him run in high school. He's, he's a tough, uh, yeah. straight-ahead runner. You know, he's one of our players of the week this week and just a prime example of just doing a little bit of everything for this football program. Scores a touchdown. He's on the extra point. He ended up getting blocked there. Uh, he makes the tackle, turns around on opening the next kickoff, runs down the field and makes the tackle. You know, that, that, that's the kind of guys we're looking for in this program. Well, you know, that's where you got to have these guys that got to go up and down the field and do what you want them to do, Alan. Right. Uh, this team is, like I say, just seems like it's getting better, yep. especially the defensive unit. I mean, a bunch of turnovers Saturday, and yep. that's, that's what you want to see. Oh, yes, and we, we got to continue to do it. We, you know, we can't be satisfied with where we're at. And uh, now you go to the number three team in the country, and uh, now you got to even amp it up a little bit more and, and to be uh, focused in. So it's a big week of preparation for us, as we'll get to talk about in a few minutes. But, uh, um, you know, I'm proud of this bunch of kids, and they continue to get better. And that's all you can ask for as a coach is, is, is that work ethic day in and day out. And, and they roll their sleeves up and bring their work bucket uh, to practice every day and, and, and pushing each other to get better. And you're doing it just at the right time, getting ready to go into right. a divisional play. 
That's right. And you, you know, you don't want to peak too early in the season. And you got some. You had some great non-conference games versus some uh, top 25 opponents, and, uh, and I think that helped build some character on this football team for us uh, to sort of know where we're at and to bring us down to, to life to, to, to sort of build and to work to get better. And it's and it's helping pay off here during conference play. Well, that looks like time for our first break. We'll be right back on the Al Holland Show here from Buffalo Wild Wings. And welcome back to the Coach Al Holland Show live here from Buffalo Wild Wings. We're here with Emmett Kersey. Emmett, uh, what grade are you in? I am a junior. Well, it looks like you've had a pretty good career, 154 tackles, 77 assists, and uh, 57 solos. That's pretty good. Yes, sir. Thank you. Three Thank pass you. breakups and interception. And then last week, I think you ended up with four tackles, two solo, and uh, two assists. Yes, sir. So where are you from? I am from Alpharetta, Georgia. Yeah, but, uh, what school did you play at down there? Uh, Milton High School. Milton High School, okay. What kind of uh, awards did you win in high school, maybe? Um, we didn't really win anything, but I won a college scholarship. There you go. That's That'll work. Do um, you have a big family? I've got like a, you know, moderate size, not okay. huge, but they come out to a lot of the games they can. Okay. So yeah. How long are they? Where is Alpharetta exactly? It's like right above uh, Atlanta. Okay. It's about six and a half hours away. Okay. So, Emmett, uh, who would be your biggest influence in your life? I'm going to say my mother. She's, you know, really impacted my life, pushed me very hard. And at what age did you start playing football? Um, played it pretty much all my life. You know, started in middle school, played it ever since. Uh, Emmett, what's the biggest difference you found between high school and college football? College football is a lot faster. Things move faster. You know, you just film, practice. You know, you just got to be more independent. You got to know where, you do, where you're supposed to be and when you're supposed to be there. So, I know it says you play linebacker. Which linebacker do you play? I play. Uh, I play all of them. Okay. I play Mike linebacker. Mike linebacker. Uh, what's your major? I am like? majoring in communications. Well, good. That'll be a good, that's a good, this is a good experience for you to get in here and do some radio oh, TV yeah, work. Yeah. I like it. Do you, what are your plans after college? Um, you know, I'm probably going to try to get my master's or something and then, you know, work up, probably do a radio show kind of thing, but, you know, more all over the phone. But, yeah. Emmett, do you plan on going back to Georgia or are you going to uh, go somewhere else? I do plan on going back home after I graduate from Pikeville. Do you have any ties with any radio or TV stations in that area yet? No, I do not. But, uh, you know, I'm going to get down there and surface around a little bit. I know you've been here for uh, three years being a junior, but what's the, how is it living that far away from home? Oh, uh, you adapt to it. You know, I kind of, you know, I fell in love with the city. It's beautiful. So I've, I've always loved it here. So what do you like about Pike? You know, it's kind of like secluded. So you get your, like, you get your privacy, you get your, like, I don't know, small town feels. I like it. What kind of individual goals did you set for yourself this season? Uh, really just come out and do better than I did last season. Improve, get better. Emmett, uh, what's your uh, favorite football move? memory? Memory, oh. Oh, I would have to say my freshman year at U-Pike when we won the conference championship. First time, first time ever. First right? championship. First ring, too. It's very nice. Waited a long time for that here in Pike, but we have. Uh, who's your favorite NFL player? Oh, Cam Newton. He's just a dog, you know. Well, that's unusual for a guy that's a uh, uh, linebacker to be a quarterback fan. Yeah, but, I mean, they got Luke Keekley too, in Carolina. So, you know, it's a great defense, too. What is your favorite thing to do here in Pike well, when you're uh, free time? Um... Well, I watch football, really, play video games. I don't do too much, get out, see the city. Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Emmett? I got uh, two brothers, one older, one younger. Do your brothers uh, play football? Uh, not anymore. Okay. Both graduated, moved on with their lives. What does your mom do? She is a mother of three. Okay. Your dad work, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What kind of work does your dad do? Does computer stuff. Uh, okay. Works on computers. That, that's, that's, a good, that's a good one. Um, what's your favorite aspect 
of the, foot, the game of football. Okay. Um, I like how you got to like have 11 people to make it all fit. You know, it, it's not just a one-person game. It takes everyone to succeed on the field. Well, Emmett, I appreciate you stopping by and talking with us. Again, you, this is uh, Emmett Kersey, a junior linebacker from the University of Pikeville. We'll be right back on the Coach Al Holland Show from Buffalo Wild Wings. We're here with Braden Randall, and he's a uh, tight end, senior. Yes, sir. Had uh, 18 career receptions, 165 yards, a touchdown. Pretty good average, 9.2 yards per game, or per catch, sorry. <laughs> and last week he had a uh, one catch for 17 yards. Of course, the uh, tight end position is a little bit different. Do a lot, lot of blocking in that as well, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have to get down in the trenches sometimes. Well, Braden, where are you from? Uh, Brazelton, Georgia. Uh, I was having some help on pronouncing that. I was looking at it. I said, hey, I'm sure exactly that one. Yeah. So where exactly is Brazelton? Uh, it's about 45 minutes north of Atlanta. A lot of you guys in that general area, right? Alf Alpharetta oh, yeah. and all that's pretty close. Yep. Uh, do you come from a big family? Uh, yeah, there's six of us. I got, I got one brother and two sisters and then mom and dad. Uh, that's about average, I guess, really, for especially for around here maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who would you say is the biggest influence in your life? Uh, I got to say my father, um, just how he's, you know, helped our family out and, you know, just taught our family to be leaders and uh, just, I don't know, he's just always there for us. What's your dad do? Uh, he's actually, he's in sales. Well, that's good. That'll give him a chance to teach you a little more charisma and all that. Something. Yeah, yeah. So what's your major? Uh, I'm a uh, business management. Braden, uh, when did you start playing football? Uh, I would say hmm, since I was about five years old, started flag football, everything, uh, when I lived in Virginia. And uh, just from there, never never put the ball down. What part of Virginia did you live in? Uh, Richmond, Virginia. It's not too far from here. Oh, no, not bad. What's the biggest difference you found between high school and college football? Uh, Honestly, there's a lot of things. Uh, first of all, you know, just the, the time that goes into, you know, just the game in general with, uh, you know, watching film in college and, you know, you don't really do that much in high school. And then uh, just uh, always, you know, trying to be creative with uh, different schemes and everything in college and, you know, high school, you're running the same thing every week. And the playbook size, we have over... 500 plays we have to remember to high school you got about I don't know 50 you have to remember so yeah there's there's a lot of differences that's that's a really good analogy because most people give the standard answer you know speed of the game you know you were the you were the great athlete in high school you're going up against the same great athletes yeah. again yeah yeah I mean there's always that but they don't they don't ever notice the the little things that goes into it so Braden what's your plans after school uh, I'm actually going to go into sales as well. Uh, uh, I'm actually going to work with, with the same company as my father does, uh, International Truck and Engine Company, um, either looking to move to Nashville, Tennessee, um, somewhere around in Virginia, or maybe even down in Alabama. That's nice. Look like you got it all figured out already. Oh, uh, yeah. I, you got to, man. Nowadays, uh, I only got a semester left of school, so, yeah, we'll see, we'll see where I go. Being a senior, you've been here for a while. How was it first time moving away from home? Uh, it, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm only five and a half hours away from home, so and I, I've moved around all around the country my whole life. So, you know, the being away from my parents and everything, that, that was a little difficult. But, I mean, as the moving and meeting new people, I've, I've been doing that my whole life. So what would be your favorite football memory? Favorite football memory? Uh, there's a game, uh, regular season, senior year. Uh, it was Clark Central High, at Clark Central High School uh, down in Athens, Georgia. And uh, it was fourth and 17. I remember this perfectly. And I ran a little uh, double move, uh, post cor or, uh, corner post. And uh, I made a probably about a 40-yard 40, 40 diving catch uh, to put us on the one-yard line. And then we scored to win the game. So... That's nice. I yeah. like that one. And uh, what, what would be your favorite aspect of the game? Favorite aspect of the game? Uh, 
Hmm. I don't really know, man. I mean, football is football when it, when it all comes down to it. I mean, there's, I I mean, as a receiver or a receiving tight end, I, I like to call myself, uh, you know, always catching the ball and running up the field and everything. That's that's always good to me. But I've I've really started to enjoy blocking. It's really weird. I I played just straight receiver in high school, so you know, learning actually the techniques and everything to block and actually becoming somewhat good at it. I would like to say. Um, it's actually gotten pretty fun now as well. Braden, we appreciate you stopping by. This is Braden Randall, tied in from the University of Kentucky or University of Pike. Sorry, <laughs> and we'll be right back on the Coach Al Holland show. Thank you. Welcome back to Buffalo Wild Wings. Here, with Coach Al Holland on the Coach Al Holland show, and Al uh, got a big test coming up uh, Saturday. Sure do. Um, you know. They're a really good football team, and they've, they've been consistently good uh, the past three or four years. And, uh, you know, year in and year out, uh, they've been right there in the top ten and uh, competing for national championships. And, uh, that, you know, that's where we're trying to get our football program and, and, and to be there, to, to, to sustain it year in and year out, uh, to compete for conference championships, to compete for national championships. And that's just a mentality across the board. And, and if you're not – uh, trying to get yourself there, you're in you're in the wrong uh, wrong business because as, as a coach, uh, you, you know you you want to see kids be successful and, and to be winners, and that's part of the game as well. And um, but you know they they do have a really good football team. They bring back a lot of kids from a year ago. Uh, their defensive line is really really good. They've been known for their defense offensively. Uh, you know they they have a lot of team speed. Uh, they're not the biggest team on offense, but. Um, you know, athletically, they are uh, very skilled, and uh, they're going to try to test you and, and put you in different situations to, to make you make the mistake. And uh, you got to play sound football uh, for 60 minutes on both sides of the ball and on special teams. So, what kind of an offensive structure do they bring to the table? Well, I mean, th they sort of um, changed a little bit over time. They do a little bit more. You know, they got a quarterback now that can. Uh, really sling the football around as well too, so uh, that brings something else to the table that, that you got to slow down a little bit. And uh, you know the running backs are really good. You know they, they have those wing backs that uh, they're, they're going to try to really get you on some jets and some tosses and some things like that, and try to out leverage you, and then try to hit you downhill inside. So um, you know so they're going to mix and match in, in different things in what they do offensively uh, throughout the throughout a ball game. Uh, but they're a running football team, so you know you want to make them. Uh, be uncomfortable and, and you know as you always say just like we talked about St. Andrews you want to make them have to try to play from behind you know uh, get out of their comfort zone you know they're used to playing ahead you know uh, you know make them do things that they're not used to doing and so uh, you know you got to execute on, on both sides of the ball and you know offensively you got to you got to try to keep the ball out of their hands so uh, you know we, we got to be able to sustain drives and, and uh, to eat up the clock uh, throughout a ball game too. You know not that it's a problem Al but uh You've been moving the ball when you're when you're on, when you're clicking. You're moving the ball rather quickly, and you're actually scoring maybe too fast. I know. So uh, we we've talked about that and joked about it, but uh, you know it, it's one of those things that you sort of don't have no control over. Those those plays are going to come, and they're routine plays, and kids just making big plays for us, and, uh, and that's what you ask for uh, out of, out of your group uh, week in and week out. But uh, you know you want to try to slow them down offensively, and uh, you know they're they're known to to put up a bunch of points and. But their defense, you know, is really, really good. And they're, they're sound defensively. They got probably two of the best defensive ends in, in the country uh, at our level. And, uh, you know, and, and the other two interior guys are really, really good and can bring pressure in. But they're young guys too. But, uh, you know, they, they, bring a, they bring a load. And, you know, we've got experience playing against them a year ago. Uh, you know, so that, that whole front four. So, well, you know, this is uh, going to put a lot of test on your offensive line because I know – in a game like this, you want to do a little bit more ball control. Maybe right. you got the two good running backs. If you can get holes for them, I think, you know, give a chance we to do. eat some clock up. You know, and, and that would be great for us. And, uh, you know, we, we just got to find ways to get the ball to our athletes in space and create one-on-one -on -one situations. And, uh, you know, that's what this offense is built around. You know, there's going to be weeks where you're going to run the ball for a bunch of yards. There's going to be weeks where we're going to throw for a bunch of yards. Uh, you know, we'll just sort of, sort of see – uh, how, how the game goes and the flow of it goes as well and what adjustments they make. You know, they're off a week ago, so they've had two weeks to prepare for us. And, um, you know, we're, we, we've been playing and, and focusing on Union, and now we're focused on them this week. So uh, we, we really got to uh, be ready for some adjustments uh, as, as we go throughout this ball game. Yeah, I know that that's one of the things that be, be a big test to, uh, yep. in a lot of different ways, but 
I mean, like I say, your offense has been clicking pretty good. And uh, a lot of people don't know about the read option, which is what, I mean, you run the read option, which is you run it with a pass <laughs> we involved do. in it. Yeah, instead of pitching, we're, we're throwing the football down the field. And, um, you know, and that's, that's a neat thing for us. Um, and, and it's been big for us. And, and it sort of puts them in a, in a bind as well. So, you know, they, they try to find ways to slow us down. And, um, you know, so we're going to have to make some adjustments as well as, as we go throughout this game. Uh, but, you know, we're a different animal than we were a year ago and on offense and defense, you know. So uh, we're totally different really offensively. You know, you, you go back and watch last year's film and, um, you know, the offensive line, you know, the same the same group that, that started last year, you know. So, you know, you got the Jalen Stone that's out there playing now and, uh, you know, the uh, J.P. Blanco, you know, he's doing a heck of a job for us at, at guard and fields and now uh, Spears and, and Chase. You know, all these guys have played so many more games together than they did a year ago. Uh, where, you know, some of those guys weren't even playing in this game a year ago. So that's going to help us as well. Um, and I feel like we're better there. You got two senior tight ends that can help us. And, uh, you know, you bring in a Darian Leslie that, you know, that, that's been a big difference maker. You got Anthony Brown back, uh, you know, that wasn't here uh, before. And then, you know, our running backs as well. And Bo's playing well. And you bring in a, a Trayvon Walford, you know, uh, that, that brings another dynamic to the game as well. So uh, some different things that we can do. And, it, and it's been great for us. Uh, but we got to continue to working to get better this week because we got a tall task at hand. Well, Al, we're about out of time, but that's going to be a big game before you come up. Want many people to get their way down there as possible. Yeah, you know, uh, our crowd always uh, travels well with us, so uh, we're looking forward to, to being in Georgia and look forward to seeing all that orange and black down at Reinhardt this weekend and uh, 1.30 kickoff, and uh, we'll, we'll see you in Georgia. Okay, for Coach Al Holland, it's Charlie Pinson. We'll see you next week on the Al Holland Show.